here on a creek you could hear it and I got a bag full of flint from down in there there's Leah and this feels really special This is the creek I'm getting my chert out of. I'm standing on a block and I'll show you right here is chert. This is not. This is chert. See that? Chert. Not chert. So here's some more. You see this vein running through? That's chert. That's chert. And the outside of it, this stuff here is limestone. And the shinier stuff is the chert. So getting to this is the trick. I don't have much room here, but there's chert in this creek. So the way that I find chert is I look on um, geological maps and I look for like a limestone bedrock and usually in limestone is some chert and in this area there is a lot of chert and right now we're in between a major river and a creek. So I'm going to take a look. Um, we looked on like a Google Earth and um, zoomed down in on the creek and you you could see that there's a big rock, rock, big rocky shore. So whenever there's a big rocky shore where you know there's limestone, there might be chert. And that's what we're going to go look for right now. tiny tiny piece of chert right here that's a good sign and I could actually make a little little tiny arrowhead out of that but I'm not gonna I found another tiny little piece and this might be Onondaga chert and one of the ways you could tell if it's Onondaga or not is when you break it open it smells like oil. So we'll give that a try and see if that's what it is. Pick that up. And that is not Onondaga. But that's a nice chert. It's nice and shiny and has sparkles in it. So, oop. I'm going to take the flake that I took off, make sure I don't leave it. Put it in my pocket. So I just wanted to point out something pretty cool here. I wonder if this would work as a fishing hook. Thorns. There's thorns all over this tree, sharp as can be. And I put this branch up and I wasn't thinking and I felt the thorn. I put this branch up so I could get past. I'm not going to leave it up because that will whip somebody in the face if they, if they try, try to come through. Because it's just hanging on that thorn. It's like a snare trap. It'll swing down and whack somebody real good. So I'm not going to do that. Did you 
So this is no good, especially on a river like this. There's bald eagles flying around, there's hawks, there's falcons. They'll take this to make a nest. This string that you fishermen left, they'll take that and they'll hang themselves in their own nests. So I'm going to find, there's a plastic bag right over there. And I'm gonna take that plastic bag, pick up all this crap that this idiot left here. And all this stuff behind me, there's worm, a worm container, two water bottles, dog food, spinner bait, and another, ba another thing of worms and some cans. And I'm just gonna pick it up and bring it out with me. But this, this is unacceptable. Don't do this, don't do this. Church. I thought I just saw some too, but I lost it. It's the black and the blue. How big? Tiny. In limestone. Okay. So found a little piece. This this outside is limestone, it's no good. But on the other side, a very, very tiny bit of chert. And you could clearly see the difference in material. So you could see where the chert is in the limestone. So I can't use this piece. I'm going to leave it, but I'm going to pick up this crap. I feel like it doesn't even make a dent that I'm cleaning up after these, these people because they're just going to come back, see somebody cleaned it, and then they're going to be like, oh, I could just throw my here again. Somebody else will pick it up. No. Pick up your What the hell's wrong with you? Look at this. It's going to fall right into the river. It's PVC. You melted PVC and it's going to flow into the river and poison the fish, which then poisons the birds and poisons us and... God damn it. Now I'm not familiar with the rock in this location, so I brought a mini sledge. And I see a piece here that looks like it might possibly be something, but I have no idea, so I'll just test it. And uh, the other thing you want to be careful of is when I've been doing this and flipping over rocks, sometimes there are little snakes underneath, so be careful. And spiders. That's limestone. So, that is no good. And I see another thing over here, behind me, that does have spiders on it. That might be, this looks like limestone too, but we'll see. And it's limestone. So, two different kinds of limestone. So this is also probably limestone. But one of the things I wanted to tell you about limestone is it's very brittle, but if you're in some kind of survival situation and you need something to cut, limestone will cut. This is very, very sharp. Almost as sharp as flint, but it's easily, it, it dulls real easy. But if you ever need it, there's your knife. It's limestone. It'll work. So if you want to get really good at napping, nap limestone, because even I can't nap limestone too well. But if you want to get good, try limestone. So I just busted this little piece. 
and it smells real strong of oil. This is Onondaga Church. This is the first chert I ever napped. I got it free at a nap in. Just a piece about this size. I made a little tiny arrowhead and I gave it to my dad. Can I smell it? Yeah. It doesn't last very long, but... It does smell like oil. And petroleum. Mm-hmm. So that's cool. I've been looking for Onondaga for since forever. A little glacial cobble of it. I will make a little arrowhead out of this because I love this stuff. It smells like oil. It's so weird. Yay! Finally, a little piece of Anadagua. I've been looking for this forever. Seriously, even just a little piece. Like, man, that's the first stuff I ever napped. 12, 13, 14 years ago. Oh, man. Okay, I'm getting closer to finding it, at least. I could probably just ask other nappers where it is and they would just tell me and then I wouldn't have fun doing this and I'm not going to do that so. But if you want to give me hints, hints, general location like 50 mile radius, uh, do that. Yes, do that. Especially for the Onondaga. It's another little piece right here. That looks more like the Isopus. So, some of the chert, like really, it runs in such a thin vein like that, that I know the natives used it, but I have no idea how they did. I was not expecting to find Anadagua here, not even a little. So I'm really surprised, like I'm really, now, now I gotta look for every little piece, because I love it. And I'll just make little tiny arrowheads like this and I'll just like smell them. That's not weird or anything. Here's another piece. This might be more on a dagua. So it might be, let's see. And it is. Sniff it. Sniff the rock. They also call it, um, they actually call it oil chert. Let me pick that flake up. Um, because it smells like that, I, I've heard people call it oil chert. But that's pretty cool. So here's where the creek lets out. And there's a bunch of rock piles down there that somebody stacked. Kind of looks cool. I know people don't like those, but whatever. And I've noticed that on this corner, there's a little bit more chert coming from that direction. So it's not coming down river. It's coming from the creek. If you look right here, there's a little, little, little nugget of chert in this whole big rock. Here's another piece. And this is just a, uh, looks like glacial, glacial cobble. Just rolled around, left by the glaciers when they were here. Okay. So you can see here, there's a clear difference between the limestones, the giant scary spiders. I don't know what that was, it was black. I'm kidding about giant, they're not really giant. But you could see the shininess compared to limestone. This looks like there's some limestone in it. So we'll give it a crack and see what happens. See, that is limestone. So this piece here is limestone, and then this piece here is chert, but it looks really weathered. So I'm not sure that I'll be able to get a good piece off of that. Let me put this here. 
Um, try again. I'll try this edge this time to see. To show you. So it's chart, but it's not very good. That's still limestone. Yep. But that's a higher quality limestone. So this stuff you probably could nap. You'd have to be really good. I don't like to work it because it's really tough and it's really brittle. I think this is chert. So I'll see. Oh man, it's tough chert if it is. Still limestone. Thought it was chert, it's limestone. Unless, try more. There's the chart. Limestone chart. All right, so I've, I've scoured over pretty good here. This is more fishing line. Let me grab that. You guys, like if you go out in the wild doing this stuff and you see fishing line, just pick it up, It, you know, birds this really like I keep seeing bird nests with this in it and those baby birds get hung in them you see the baby bird hanging out of the nest by the wire dead just pick it up if you see it a lot of people like they lose their line in the water and it's not intentionally thrown here but they lose their line and it washes up so just pick it up if you see it so anyway I've scoured over pretty good I found a couple little pieces of the Onondaga chart which I'm really excited for because that means I'm getting closer to where it's coming from. Which I don't know which way, which means I have to go at, probably this way. Probably this way. So I'll go down that way and look there and then I'm gonna go down that way. And then I'm gonna go down that way because I just found Onondaga. I've been looking for Onondaga for 12 years. I found a piece this big. Yes! <laughs> so about an hour, and I found the tiniest piece of Onondaga ever. Yeah! Also, um, somebody left their big bag, a big grocery bag, so I threw all the in it and I'm just gonna carry it out and get out of here and head elsewhere but now I'm keeping my eyes peeled for little tiny pieces of Onondaga because I like the smell don't be weird <laughs> I wonder if I had a sled instead of walking here if I could just slide the whole way down the river. It's so wet you probably could slide all the way down if you had a sled. It might hurt a little. <laughs> it might hurt a little bit. But that's okay. <laughs> Look at the rocks. You hit your on that thing going down. Ow! They <laughs> cut through here. Mugwort, jewelweed, burdock, garlic mustard, dam's rocket, some kind of honeysuckle, Jimmy Creeper. Now this, that is the <laughs> paw print of a wild teddy bear from oh, Toys R Us. They're extinct now.
of every piece of plastic back here. It's too much. I guess just do what you can. Uh, to me, the most important thing is the fishing line. Grab the fishing line if you see it. Keep your places beautiful. You don't want to see trash everywhere. You just don't. Who wants to see it? I just decided to do a quick pit stop here. This is the uh, Erie Canal. It's got some cool rock formations and all. And I just figured I would stretch my legs a little bit and walk around. Just get some fresh air. Got warmer out. The sky's nice and blue. The water's actually clear ish. I'm just gonna poke about a little bit. Get out the road. What are you hissing at? What are you hissing at? Don't be in the road. Get out the road. Don't hiss at me. I'm trying to help you. I'm giving you I'm giving you life advice and your baby. Yeah, yeah hiss. Yeah, you gonna hiss? <laughs> <laughs> Get out of the road. Okay, be safe. Be safe. See the baby? You gotta be safe for the baby. Okay, I'm leaving now. Oh shit, it's gonna attack me. Attack goose. Attack goose. in this neighborhood here and happened to see this little creek here and uh, I went down let's see where did I go down I'm sorry for the wind I'm using my phone at the moment I just came down right here and uh, in this rock is more church there's a whole bunch right there a whole bunch right there you can see the darker stuff is the chert the lighter stuff is the limestone um, I'm pretty sure this was put here but down there is a different kind of chert in those little cobbles and it's not as good it's a uh, very very brittle very shale like so I'm just gonna check it out a little bit and I'll get back to you if I could you know knock a good flake off and see what I could come up with Okay, so I'm just testing random rocks here and hitting, and I hit one here, and it's a limestone, but it looks, it looks like it'll nap, so I'm going to bring this one home. It's not very ringy, but, I don't know, I don't know. The other thing with all this is there's tons of sand fleas coming into these creeks. You can see them jumping away from my foot there. I hate these things. They bite. Poor tight. Which I don't want right now. Yeah, that's a higher quality limestone. I'm not going to take this though, but you could practice snapping on this if you knew. And this is in creeks everywhere. Alright, I guess I'm going to head out. Limestone Creek. I saw this and I pulled off. They had of, uh, girls here. But this water is like... Wow. I'm still looking for church. But this location is just really, really beautiful. And there's like nobody here. 
I don't get it. That is Esopus Chert. And right next to it is a piece I could use. So we've just been driving around and stopping at different areas where the creeks come through and let out and looking at the rocks and just picking up any little bits of flint that might be from cobble or uh, glacial cobble, glacial rolling around and I don't really see too much here but this is what we've been doing. We've just been stopping and looking and enjoying the areas. I'm not finding too, too much flint so far, but I'm really enjoying myself. I'm having a great time out here. I think it's a robin's egg. Get out of here. Just a quick pit, pit stop. A giant dog down here. <laughs> Hope it's a dog. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know tracks. I know Flint and Chert though. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're next to people tracks. I'm assuming somebody just brought a bull mastiff down here. I think the flint is over there and we need a boat, and I don't have a boat. So now we need to make a boat. Is there a tree? Take like a week. Where the hell's the flint? The flint? That's not the flint, that's a leaf. After staring at something like this for so long, you get something called rock blind and you start to get really dizzy. I found more underwears than I have chert. What the hell is going on? Cigarettes and underwears. That's different just laying here is blue weird colored really rough kinda kinda churdy stuff yep there's some stuff here it's uh, very small though I'm having trouble finding larger stuff. I can't do anything with something that small. I can make a something called a there we go. Something called a bird point. But even this is rough here and the only good spot is there, so that's no good. 
That's unfortunate. I mean, there's little, little, little chips. Okay. Maybe I'll find something eventually. Like, really, this is harder than it than it appears. And uh, I know I have some viewers that get really discouraged. But, like, look at what I'm finding. I mean, it's small. That's the piece I was just holding. And there's... There's not much, and it's it, it is re, it is really difficult to find. So when you find a piece that's big, you are very blessed. I'll get back to you if I find anything. Here's a bigger chunk. This piece I'm going to take. I might be able to make something out of that. As far as I can see, it's not worked. So this should not be an artifact of any kind. And the source has got to be somewhere nearby. I I'm seeing more and more of just rolled river rock. It's really shiny. I like the color, too. It's got a crack running through it. But I I'm not finding anything big. I need scuba gear or something. Get down under that water. What'd you find? I might be able to make a spear point out of this. It's got limestone here, but the rest of this is chert. And this is really pretty. more of it right here. This is really pretty stuff. It's blue. I need a bigger piece though. This is what I like making now. So those little pieces. There's another little pieces. Ah. Uh -huh. Bigger piece. Thank you. Bigger, slightly bigger. It's like gray blue. Yeah, grayish blue. Should be all around here. Look, it's a nugget. Yep. It's another little piece right there. Here. This is in its, uh. That's a, a vein of it, but it's all decayed. Yeah. Not decayed, but. Cool color. Weathered. Oh look. Man, that's so shiny. I'm not seeing any of the blue down here. What is this? I test it. Looks tough. Uh-uh. Sure. Lots of limestone though. Yeah. So I might be able to split it right here. See that line? Yeah. So if I hit it right there, hard enough, it should take all, mo most of the limestone off. We'll give it a try later. Right here. Oh, oh nice. This is it. All right, I'm getting bit up. We're losing light. I got at least one big piece. We'll come back tomorrow or go somewhere else tomorrow. 
I wash this off with the car and see what I got. Fish to show. It's like crawfish massacre. Oh my God. This is the first big piece I found. I'm not sure how much good is going to be in there, but we'll see. So once you get to the level of uh, like 25,000 plus hours of flint napping, you can take a flake like this. And this is when you're a master. Don't try this when you first start. You hold it like this in the leather. You take your tool, in this case I'm using copper. And you really carefully line it up. This is really nerve-wracking. And then you have a completely finished point. Pressure flaked. The edges are ground and ready to be hafted. This point is ready to hunt with. Now usually when you do that, that method, you clip your finger and you clip your fingernail really bad. But it's worth it to get a point of this quality from a flake that quickly. And that's how a master flint napper flint naps. Flint. 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 Chert. Yeah. I know what I'm talking about, trust me.